get me exciting uh, for you to be part of my lesson. Uh, let's see another good example from July 2021 uh, series under certificate in land survey. Uh, so that paper is survey theory. Uh, let's go to the question paper. Uh, that is question number two. Uh, table 2 shows measurement made from a survey line RS to a, an irregular boundary of a parcel as shown in the figure 1. Uh, line RT and ST are 90 meters and 75 meters respectively. Uh, compute the area in hectares of the whole parcel using Simpson rule for the uh, yeah. Uh, there we have been provided with a uh, table and also we have been provided with a sketch of the irregular boundary. So in our table there we have uh, changes of different offsets. Uh, you can look there uh, to see. Uh, the intervals are somehow different. So remember that. Uh, by the looks of things, this is our first question using the Simpson uh, rule. And on line RS that is surveyed, we had a, an irregular parcel of uh, that is 110 meters from the changes on the table below so that is the distances uh, so the distance rs uh, you can observe there so we have change between 0 to uh, 110 uh, giving us the distance between rs it is clear that the rule is possible only when the number of divisions of the area is even i.e the total number of ordinates is odd. In this case, we have nine ordinates making it right. But we can't apply the general uh, equation of the Simpson rule due to the fact that the changes differ at some point. Remember that later in the equation. First, we calculate the area of the triangle TRS uh, as illustrated in the diagram there. Uh, the area is computed by the equation uh, area equals to the square root of S, uh, which uh, S here is half the perimeter. So S into brackets S minus uh, A. Uh, multiplied by s minus b multiplied by s minus c so a b c those are our sides of the bigger uh, triangle there so triangle t r s uh, having done that so s uh, s will be the half the perimeter so perimeter you add all the lengths uh, divided by 2 uh, giving us 137 meters so 137 that will be our s uh, again we come and we input that in our formula uh, after having done that uh, we get our area as uh, our area will be that is 3309.14 so 0.49 meters squared having finished that we go back to the area of the irregular shape uh, as illustrated there on top and in this case by use of two segments uh, the two segments there from the offsets uh, we are going to observe three offsets uh, with the formula which will be applied as area equals to x over three uh, into brackets uh, the first offset uh, plus 4 multiplied by the second offset 
plus the third offset so i'm doing this because i cannot use the general formula uh, due to the fact that the changes have a different interval so the general formula cannot be used there so where x will be represented by the difference in the intervals and our intervals there uh, we have an interval of 20 another interval of 10 another interval of 15 meters so you can observe from the table the difference in the intervals um, having done that uh, i calculate the areas so I, I do the area area one area two area three using that formula and also area four after which i do the total for the areas and the total for the areas will be uh, provided there uh, from the calculation thereafter we work out the total for the two main areas which we have calculated uh, giving our answer in hectares as asked in the question uh, so that will be all in the simpson rule so uh, any question uh, you can ask in the comment or send me an email a uh, pdf of the same will be provided in the link below uh, thank you